Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm sure you've enjoyed your salad, and now it is time for a little amused bush. So please welcome to the stage the co-founder and executive chairman of the Blockchain Research Institute, Mr. Don Tapscott. Thank you. Uh, congratulations for those who, you got, uh, who got through the door check. That was tougher than Studio 54 in the, in the 80s. I almost didn't get in myself. Um, but seriously, um, this uh, event has been oversold for a long time, and I'm, I'm very uh, delighted that all of you could come. And uh, I want to begin uh, just by uh, thanking uh, Imogen Heap again. What an extraordinary thing. Uh, if we could give an applause for him. Okay. <clears throat> Most of you are at the session today, but for those who weren't, I interviewed her about her work in the transformation of the music industry. And she has this really ra radical idea that the creators of music and art should actually be compensated for the work they do. I, I don't know, it's like a crazy thing. But uh, she not only has this idea, she has a whole vision on how it can unfold, and she's executing it. She's doing all this stuff. So she's a, a creative genius, um, but she's also a business leader, and she's helping us build a world where the creators of value actually um, get compensated for that value and for the the property that they create is protected. And that's one of the many, many promises of blockchain that we've been talking about today. So I'm not gonna say uh, anything uh, else other than to tell you, you're at the inaugural Blockchain Enterprise Awards Gala. And uh, this is going to continue for many, many years. And um, thank you. And as I said this morning, this event was big and successful. Next year, it'll be twice as big, and the year after that, it will be twice as big. And we're also rolling this out globally uh, in countries uh, around the world. I would like to give a shout-out to my co-founder, Alex Tapscott, who two weeks ago became a dad. <laughs> And I would like to thank my wife, Anna Lopez, um, who is responsible for most of the things I do, but I take the credit for it. <clears throat> so a word on the awards. Um, we, we were hoping to get a few dozen submissions. We got many, many more than that. Um, I think flooded might be a pretty good term to describe it. And for the first time ever, that surprised us. So we did a Parkinson's Law of Enterprise Blockchain Awards, which is we originally had these categories, and then we saw all these awards coming in. So we changed the categories to fit the applications available, sort of like Parkinson's Law. And um, so in some of the categories, we actually split up to have two um, or even uh, three awards, as it was clear to us that the categories we had originally conceived of uh, we're, we're not correct. So you'll hear more about that later. The other thing that ne uh, neither Alex or I were judges, and um, because we wanted it to be an independent thing, and uh, I don't want to be in the business of judging all my best friends and, uh, and clients and collaborators anyway. So uh, we, d uh, we chose uh, wisely, uh, we think, uh, a, a very prestigious head judge, and um, that is Irving uh, Wadeski Berger, the, uh, who I've mentioned <laughs> twice today, the le uh, legendary uh, former IBM executive that was as responsible as anyone for getting IBM to adopt the internet uh, 25 years ago. Irving um, is a columnist uh, for the uh, uh, Wall, uh, Wall Street Journal uh, CIO um, uh, section, and he's also someone um, who's been a great friend and a great collaborator. And every time I talk to him, I, I learn something. And I can't think of many people I know who I can say that about. 
So uh, I would like to introduce to you our head judge, Irving Wodeski Berger. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. And from now on, I'm also known as the holder of blockchain. <laughs> and I have to think about the symbolism of all this. I'm sure there must be a connection. I don't know if you know, do you all know why Hodor was called Hodor? Right. Hold the door. So Dan, what door am I holding in blockchain is the question, but I'll think about it. We don't have to decide. On behalf of the team behind the Enterprise Blockchain Awards, I'm very pleased to offer you a warm welcome to the Blockchain Enterprises Awards Gala Dinner. This is the first year for the EBAs, and frankly, when we started, we had no idea how many applications we would get. And we did have some discussions like, Dan, what if we get 25 applications? I mean, that would not be very good. As it turned out, we received well over 100 nominations for awards from all around the world, including Asia, Europe, Australia, South America, and North America. The other thing that we were really happy to see is the quality of the submissions, which was exceptionally high, as you can see by the finalist in each category. We learned a lot during the judging process, both about the individuals and the companies who are leading the charge in enterprise blockchain transformation. But we also learned the broad scope of work that is being done in the enterprise blockchain space. I have to say, for me personally, being involved in the judging was a wonderful educational experience which gave me an opportunity to see all the really interesting work going on in blockchain. Over the past months or so, our judging panel has gone through the really difficult process of reviewing all the nominations. We would have liked to be able to recognize every company and every individual who was nominated for their unique contributions to innovation in blockchain, but we had to do our job, and we did manage to whittle the list down to a short list of finalists, which you can read more about in the programs. And we all felt, all the judges, that all the finalists should consider themselves winners. But we did have to pick a winner among the finalists in each of the categories and you'll find out the rest during this evening of celebration and recognition. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight to support the first Enterprise Blockchain Awards. Have a very nice evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you should know that in, um, because it is blockchain week, participating Wendy's are offering the Irvin Vladovsky burger. Um, it's digital, so it's very good for vegans and carnivores, 50% yes, uh, off. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so now we're on to the awards. Uh, we are about to present the first two awards. So please welcome our presenters, Kirsten Sandberg and Deputy Mayor Michael Thompson.
Good evening. Are you joining me? Oh. Can I tell them that we're the only two people who haven't seen Game of Thrones? Oh, no. I have the honor of announcing the award for New Frontier in Enterprise Blockchain Research. This is a really special group. These are my people, the researchers. We have in this category Angelo DeCaro, IBM Research Zurich, Eden Dollywall. Oh, no pictures? Uh, Eden Dollywall of Outlier Ventures, Henry Kim and Merrick Laskowski of the Blockchain Lab at the Schulich School of Business, that's at York University, and a team from Fujitsu Laboratory, Satoshi Imai, Akira Ito, Takao Ogura, and Takeshi Miyame. And the winner is uh, Eden Dollywall, Outlier Ventures. Eden's co-authors are uh, accepting the award on his behalf. Isu and Jeff. Great. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome to the City of Toronto. I'm delighted that you're here with us uh, this evening and that you're in our great city. The City of Toronto is very proud to be one of the founding sponsors of this event, of the Institute. And uh, Don and Alex, thank you very much for your visionary, um, your effort to put this event together in the City of Toronto. We're delighted. Toronto is about research. Toronto is about technology. Toronto is about innovation. Blockchain and all the reading. And Alex, I read your book, the one you gave me. So I was able to actually read up on blockchain. As a politician, I'm realizing that it will be an equalizer to help many people for many years to come because this is just scratching the surface with respect to blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of introducing uh, the next winter, winner, the Innovation Enterprise. And uh, the name I have is Kalito, winner of the... To do a little bit of housekeeping uh, there, and I think we're in order now. I now have the pleasure of introducing the next award winner, and this is for Industry Solution, and the winner is Power Ledger. <laughs> is located in Australia and unfortunately could not be with us uh, this evening so I'm accepting the award on their behalf so I ask you to give a big round of applause and congratulations to Power Ledger, Ledger so that they can hear you all the way in Australia well, thank you And the next award is for public sector service. This award goes to vote. Unfortunately, vote's not able to be with us this evening, so I will accept this award, but I'll ask you to big, give them a big round of applause and congratulations to vote on winning this award. Thank you.
congratulations to all the winners, and I have to say, I'm so happy that Toronto hosted such a wonderful event tonight for something as stupendous as blockchain, erasing all memories of Bucca beer. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and for those of you who are interested, uh, my blockchain pool, I just won uh, two because I, I figured uh, Michael was going to actually get two awards. Um, and that was out of the blue, so it was out thinking of the outside blue, the box. Well done. All right, your uh, main course is coming up. Please enjoy. We'll be back with more awards. I hope that everyone is having an absolutely amazing night. My name is Tony Lane Casserly, and oh my God, Tony, look at her box. I like full bucks, and I cannot lie. <laughs> what? The court of Canton nut. So they gave me alcohol and a microphone. Oh, that's good. This, this is such. Good. This is I'm good. Never you need, we need more back. of you like that. We need more of you like that. I. Uh, my name's Perry Ann, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> She also raps. She, most of you guys don't know this about Perry Ann Boring. Not only is she beautiful, an early blockchain pioneer who runs the Chamber of Digital Commerce, but she also has a professional rap career. So this is a it. hidden secret. This Woo! was an award we didn't plan for, but I'm glad that we could give it to her tonight. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the business. <laughs> um, so first, we are presenting one of the Young Leaders Award for a girl who happens to be just 15 years old. I don't know what I was doing at the age of 15, but it certainly wasn't saving lives by preventing counterfeit drugs from being sold while giving people the ability to take ownership uh, and manage and share all of their medical data with a company called Honest Blocks. A member of the Knowledge Society, please welcome. to be here in a room with so many amazing people like yourselves. I'm so honored to be given this award. Um, I got involved in blockchain through the Knowledge Society, which is an amazing youth innovation program. And through that, I've been exploring this technology so much, and I've been interested in this pharmaceutical industry. And I just got, it, just got started with this project, and I'm looking at so much more with tokenization and property, and I'm just so interested to see how this technology can be levitated to solve such important problems in our world. And I think we definitely need more youth getting involved in this space, and it's so great to get to be involved at such a young age and solve important issues like these. So it's such a great honor to even be here. Um, and yeah, I look forward to developing Honest Blocks and continuing to help other people, talk to more people, and really develop this project. Thank you. <laughs> Blockchain Transformation Award. Uh, the nominees were Access Capital from Prescient Innovations, Bangladesh Computer Council, HCL Technologies, IBM, Quorum, Synaptic Health Alliance, the University Health Network, Virgin Money, South Africa, and Uno Finance. There's actually three of these. The first award goes to IBM and
for anyone uh, who's paying attention in blockchain, IBM truly is a pioneer um, in this space, and Jerry has absolutely been one of the key leaders um, at IBM driving blockchain forward. Very well deserved. Congratulations. All right, the second Enterprise Blockchain Transformation Award goes to, drum roll. contributions to the to the project All right, don't worry, there's only one more left. I'll be out of your hair. Uh, the third award for the Enterprise Blockchain Transformation goes to Quorum and Financial Services. And unfortunately, their representative had to leave early for a family emergency, so I will accept their award on their behalf. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. A um, uh, 15-year-old, um, that's amazing. I was still uh, potty training at 15. because I had monkey posters on my wall. The monkeys were also great. Yeah. Um, we're going to be serving dessert, and then we're going to come back with the final awards of the evening, so enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're enjoying your dessert. It's really good. For our final awards of the evening, we'd like to welcome back Don Tapscott. Do you ever feel like a misfit? Everything inside you is dark and twisted. Oh, transformation. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm just trying to read my instructions here. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for coming. After this, we're going to have a performance of a new rock group. Uh, called the Beat Coins. Uh, you can't make this stuff up. And um, singing a couple of original songs. But it is my great honor to give the last uh, award. And the category was an individual. If I could have your attention, please. This is really important. Thank you. An individual who's shown great uh, leadership in advancing this whole blockchain issue forward. And there were, um, this was a category that had dozens of uh, people, actually. And uh, I'm told that it was a really, really tough, uh, uh, tough call. And the, um, the nominees are uh, Bernie Moreno from Ovnan 
Anthony Welfare from Luxoft, Marie Week from IBM, Dale Christie from FedEx, Tonya Evans from the University of New Hampshire School of Law, Rowan Levy, Rowany Levy from Access Copyright, and Andrew McCormack from Payments Canada. And there are three subcategories. So um, the first is for enterprise and industry leadership. So these are big corporations and company, uh, an individual who's provided uh, great leadership. And the winner is uh, Dale. Uh, those of you who attended the uh, session today with Dale will, will understand why that's a really... <laughs> I'm, am I editorializing, editorializing on our independent judging process? No, I, that's a really great award and so well deserved. Um, the second is a category called governance and policy leadership. So creating the conditions whereby all of this occur. And the winner is... Tanya Evans, University of New Hampshire, School of Law. is called Community and Ecosystem Leadership. And as you've heard throughout the day, and you'll hear a lot more tomorrow, um, there's an opportunity for every community to build a strong um, a blockchain ecosystem. And also, every industry can't do this alone. It has to be done through, um, through building partnerships and ecosystems. And uh, so the winner is Bernie Moreno from Moven. Yeah, it's Bernie here. Let's have a great uh, round of applause for all of these winners. Uh, the first inaugural award winners. And next year, it's going to be a lot bigger and a lot better. Thank you. I have to say that Dale came up to us earlier in the evening, bless him, knowing that we were simpletons, and in 20 seconds explained blockchain to us. Data, it's data, who knew? Well done. I had no idea. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, congratulations to all the winners tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, once every generation, there comes a musical act that touches and inspires their fans. And tonight, I think we have one of those acts. Yes, that act includes Ron Resnick, CEO Enterprise Ekram Association. Don Tapscott, Executive Chairman, 
uh, Blockchain <laughs> Research Institute. Diana Alvord, who her credits include actual musician. So from Texas. Yes. So if you actually have a band with an actual musician, that's it good. Helps. So, ladies and gentlemen, performing two original songs about blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen. No video. The Bitcoin. The Bitcoin. Yes, I wrote this song along with Ch uh, Charlie Morris, who contributed to some of the lyrics too. It's called the Blockchain Revolution Blues. Anytime you guys want to get things started, let me know.
Charlie Morris, right? And this next song, it was made by me in collaboration with Ron Resnick. Thank you for all your help, all the information that give me the inspiration to, to come with this. This is called Blockchain for the People. And if you like it, you can find it on my website. It's, it's fresh out of the oven. And here we go. All in life is about exchange. How can we make it fair and safe? It's a question. Yes, we need a massive change And here it comes, the new way Pay to serve the people, not the one percent A new order has commenced Finally we're gonna ditch the middle man. A new chance for everyone Power to the people like never before Yeah, yeah
thought this was the premiere of both songs. We hope you enjoy it. And congratulations to the winners. Thanks so much, guys. So that's a band that's never actually rehearsed together. So, uh, and the other thing, it's the nucleus of a band. So next year, we got Jerry Como, I know he's a guitar player, and there are a few other musicians. So if you'd like to audit or do an audition for the band, our, our, our bar for acceptance is very, very low, and um, you'll have a very high probability of getting in the band. So thanks so much. And for Bitcoins. Colin and I uh, uh, had a number of poems to do for you from our latest uh, book of poetry, but apparently there's no more time. Oh, no. So we would like to say it's been our privilege to host this very first blockchain event tonight. Congratulations and, uh, to all the winners, and thank you for all that you do to make this world a better place. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.